Well, the 17-month ordeal for the nine Lebanese pilgrims who were kidnapped on the border between Syria and Turkey is finally over. They did arrive here at the VIP lounge at Rafiq Hariri International Airport. The scenes here were scenes of jubilation. It was incredibly emotional. Their families have been waiting for this moment for a very long time. There were, there were hugs and there were cries. Some people were so emotional they fell to the ground. The nine Lebanese civilians who arrived today did look really tired. They looked exhausted. They looked distraught. They all insisted. They did say that they were treated very well by the Syrian opposition that kidnapped them 17 months ago. They did say, however, that the conditions in which they had been kept were very, very difficult, especially the last four days, the tension that was building up towards this final moment when they finally come home. Two things needed to happen in order for them to finally be released. First of all, the release of two Turkish pilots who were kidnapped in Beirut two months ago, and they have in fact arrived tonight back home to Turkey. We also know that the Syrian government has agreed to do its share of deal, which is releasing female prisoners who, will, who will, were held in its detention centers. We believe that about 130 female Syrians have been released tonight. We don't know exactly the details yet. We know they were crossing the border from Syria into Turkey. Turkey. This basically is the end of an ordeal for many people who had to suffer from the Syrian war, and this for them is no longer a playing card for people fighting between opposition and regime.